Hello! Welcome to day 6 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. One of my favorite animals are goats. It's even my Chinese zodiac sign. I freaking love their amazing horns and their magical eyes. I think they have such a nice and peaceful personality. Of course they are sometimes stubborn, but if you mess with them, they will kick you in your butt. It's not for nothing that the soccer boss or Inca boss is a demon with a goat's head or has at least horns from a goat. There's also this superstition that witches used goats for riding, since the goat is also a reflection of the devil. So it's no wonder that they are all connected to each other. But goats are not only a symbol for evil creatures or demons. In the Chinese culture the goat is a symbol for wealth and vital energy. People who were born in the year of the goat are known for being hard-headed, love-able, kind and creative in China. Which definitely fits if you know me. There are a lot of other stories of goats in different mythology from Greece, Germany, also India and I bet also from a lot of other countries. Maybe you know some stories of goats. Oh and by the way, what's your favorite animal and why? Again, I skipped sketching and started directly to draw with a ballpoint pen from BIC, I think that's the name, um, which is called Round Stick M, could possibly the size of the pen. Um, I bought it in a set and it's really nice to work with it and they are not expensive at all. The paper I use is a watercolor pad from Canson. At first I drew very lightly and raised the gradation little by little. For today's drawing I printed some references to have a guideline of how a goat really looks like. I also printed some pictures of beautiful wildflowers. I think those kind of flowers suit very well.
Okay guys, let's do some gold effects! To make the drawing pop up, I used the fine tech gold colors for the background. I used two different tones. On the upper half, I used a copper tone and on the bottom, a more goldish tone. The colors are very pretty and these are by far the best gold colors I ever had. But they are a bit expensive, I think. But if you compare it to the great quality they have, I don't think it's that expensive, you know? I wish they would sponsor me with the whole color palette. I would definitely buy more colors from Fine Tech. Someday. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Of course my goat needs gold mysterious eyes. And don't you think he has those alluring come to bed eyes? After the gold color dried, I intensified the outlines and added more shadowing. This is the moment I went crazy with the highlights, but it was so much fun. For the highlights I used my favorite white ink from PH Martens with the G pen from Delita to work out the fur and hair. I had so much fun drawing this and I hope you also had fun watching this video. If you are interested in buying this piece or other originals or even my art book and other prints, make sure to check out my Etsy shop. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!